In this video, we're going to talk about estimating products. Now, estimation means to find a close answer. Doesn't mean that we just round numbers and stop. We have to find the answer. And words that remind us to estimate include about, approximately, around, close. I would say in many math word problems, you're probably going to see the words about and approximately more than the others. So first thing you need to remember is we don't solve the problem before we round. Don't do it. Step one, we're going to round both numbers to their greatest places. So 345 its greatest place is the hundreds place. So we're going to round to the three. 67 has a tens place. So we're going to round to the six. But it doesn't have a hundreds place. Okay, so we're going to stick with their greatest places. And in a traditional fifth grade problem where you have three digits multiplied by two digits, this is kind of the pattern that you're going to see. So 345, we're going to round that to 300 and 67 we're going to round to 70. Step two, multiply the two non-zero digits. Well I see a three and I, three, I see a seven and I see some zeros. Well step two says look at the non-zero digits, the three and the seven. So I'm going to multiply those two and I'm going to get 21. Step three says you're now going to add the zeros to your answer. So I'm not going to multiply with all these zeros. I'm going to trust the math. Now you certainly could. All right. And I tell my students all the time, if you want to go over there and multiply this problem out, knock yourself out. But I'm telling you, you're going to have a bunch of zeros in your problem that you don't even need. But if you trust the math, three times seven is 21. Count up your zeros. I see three of them. So let's add three of them to our answer. 21,000 is our answer. Take a look at example two. We'll go a little bit faster. We're gonna round both numbers. 234 is 200, 56 rounds to 60. We're gonna multiply the two non-zero numbers together. Two and six gives us 12. We are going to add the zeros. How many are there? There's three, 12,000 much simpler than multiplying this whole problem out and then rounding your answer. It's not what you want to do. Okay, we're going to round, we're going to round, we're going to multiply. So round the numbers first and then solve the problem. Round both of the numbers to their greatest places. That's different than adding and subtracting. So in multiplication, we're going to round both of them to their greatest places. We're going to multiply the two non-zero digits together because that's just a simple little multiplication fact. And then finally, we'll count up and add the zeros to our answer. 